Why is it so fun to break stuff? today. What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter and on this channel we explore what is possible with clay. Today we have a video that I am so excited about. We are making recycled glass coasters and these things, whoo, these things are cool. Hmm, that was a weird accent. These coasters are sweet. Yes, this is an example of one of the coasters and I got a bunch of them ready to go here that are already thrown. We have a bunch of old glass that's from Moke Monkey, and if you don't have old glass, you can find old glass at many places. We take clear glass, we put glaze underneath it, we break up that glass, and then we just let it melt at 2200 degrees at cone six, and the end result is gorgeous. They're not food safe, so you have to use this technique for something that is like a coaster where it's just decorative. Dude, they're sweet. So I'll throw a couple, and then I'll show you how we break up the glass, and then I'll glaze them, and then we'll lay the glass in there. Super excited about this video. Which I'm always excited about everything. All right, so first thing you gotta do is get your clay ready, obviously. So I usually start with somewhere between four and eight ounces. So that would be about six ounces. So six ounces of clay, which is just slightly less than half a pound. It's about this much. And so that'll give you a good size coaster. So basically you're just throwing a tiny little plate with a little rim. Let's throw. All right, so we got our six ounces of clay. Gonna get that right in the middle. So we got it centered. And then I'm gonna just go from the top and make it really flat. So I'm just using this part of my hand right here keeping my edge of my hand right here on the side and then coming from the top so that it makes it really nice and flat. And then it's plenty thin right here. I don't want to go any more thin in the middle. So I'll just pull it out a little bit. That's probably wide enough right there. And then I'll just make a rim. And whatever you do in the middle here, like I put a little spiral in a lot of my pots like that, doesn't really matter for this uh, project because it'll just get covered with the glass, the glaze in the glass. Then I'll just take a little wood tool, trim around the bottom, and that's it. Then I'll measure it with my calipers because if you throw a set of four or five or six or whatever, you want them to be all the same so they stack really nicely. We'll get started on number two. We got our coasters thrown. So this is what they would look like after they dried and then we fired them once and then they came out. Now we're just gonna put a bunch of glazes in here. We'll break the glass and then we'll put the glass on top and then we'll load the kiln. So one thing I do really like about these coasters is if it's the end of the day and I wanna throw a bunch of stuff but I won't have time to like come back and cover it, I can throw them all and they can sit out all night long and then I come back the next day, then they just pop off the bat. Sometimes at the end of the day I'll just throw a quick 20 of these and I don't have to worry about covering them. Like if I throw a bunch of mugs, then I have to come back and cover them or put handles on them. I have to do something with them. And they take up like no room in the kiln. So great. So many great things about these coasters. Plus they just look sweet. First thing we gotta do is glaze these coasters and then we're gonna start breaking some glass, which is the really fun part of this project. Here's to the glazing. Coasters that you see are square, and I'm not really sure why they're square. If there's a reason, you should comment in the comments of this video and tell me why. But have you ever seen a square cup? I mean, I guess there are such things as square cups. But most of the time, 
cups are circle and you put cups onto coasters, so why do you have square coasters when your cups are circle? Doesn't it make sense to have circle coasters? Circle coasters for circle glasses and mugs. Coasters glazed in like four or five different glazes and I'm gonna set them up so that we can start putting the glass on there so when you're putting the glass on there think about making sure that the glass will be level enough because if you think about it melting it's pretty much just gonna melt down and so you don't want to put too much glass on there because then it would go over their edge and fall onto the kiln shelf but you also don't want to put too little because then it wouldn't cover the whole thing so you just got to kind of play with it and make sure that you have the right amount of glass when you're loading it into the kiln you want to make sure that the kiln shelf is completely level because if the kiln shelf tilts any certain way when that glass melts it'll all like go towards one way so I tend to put them at the bottom because as I go further up my kiln shelves tend to get a little more unlevel if I put them at the top shelf then it doesn't quite get like as hot and it needs to get all the way up to cone six or else you get little like pinholes in the top I'm gonna get into uh, breaking up that glass putting glass on it let's do it got a hammer we got clear glass let's break some stuff It's so fun to break stuff. Disclaimer, handling glass with your bare hands is probably a stupid idea and you should not try this at home and I'm not sure why I do it, but so far so good. Knock on wood. We got all the glass on there. Now we load the kiln. glaze kiln completely full I used like almost every kiln shelf I have because there's so many little like coasters and plates and thin things boom. ready Shoo, boom hey thanks for watching this video how to make these recycled glass coasters these things are one of my favorite things to make because they come out and they're just gorgeous they're like crystals and they're just super cool so I'm excited to take them out of the kiln. Tune in to the next video for unloading the kiln. There is a bunch of cool stuff in there, including these glass posters. We will also announce the winner of the mug giveaway in that next video. It's a little windy to ride my bike with no hands. Hit that subscribe button for more pottery videos. Hit that like button if you like this video. And uh, tune into the next video to see these glass coasters, how they come out. It's gonna be sweet!